There was an historic ruling today from Canada's top court. In a 6-1 to one decision, the Supreme Court justices rejected Stephen Harper's nominee for the top bench, Justice Mark Nadeau. The Prime Minister's office says it is genuinely surprised by the decision. It thought Nadeau was a good pick, but as Vashi Capellos reports, his peers decided he isn't qualified. For the first time in its history, the Supreme Court has declared the appointment of one of its justices void. Last fall, Marc Nadon was handpicked by Prime Minister Stephen Harper for one of Quebec's three spots on the bench. It has been a very fulfilling career and it has met all of my expectations. But his appointment was immediately challenged. The Supreme Court Act says appointees to those seats have to be from a Quebec court or be a current member of the Quebec bar. Nadon is neither. To get around that, the Tories introduced a clause to their omnibus budget bill. It would allow someone like Nadon to be appointed to the Supreme Court as long as they had at one time been a member of the Quebec bar. This decision, in effect, strikes down then not only Nadon's appointment, but the clause of the bill as well. Just as this constitutional right expert now. calls the decision staggering. Well, it's a very dramatic decision for the Supreme Court to essentially thwart the Prime Minister's choice and to hold that Mark Nadeau was not eligible from the outset. Well, uh, Rocco Galati, the lawyer who challenged Nadeau's appointment, agrees. I am aghast to the extent that this government cynically and subversively tries to undermine the rule of law at every turn. The Prime Minister's office replied with a statement. A spokesperson noted they had consulted a former Supreme Court justice and said in part, we are genuinely surprised by today's decision. We will review the details of the decision and our options going forward. They might have even more than that to review. The decision also says any changes to the court's composition must be made with the unanimous consent of all provinces and parliament. The question now, whether that affects the issue of Senate reform currently before the court. Bashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.